He raises a 44 Magnum rifle, takes a deep breath, exhales slow, then squeezes the trigger. He climbs to the 18th floor, where he runs into a honeymooning couple, two innocent civilians. Essex kills them both. One man is taking on the entire New Orleans Police Department and a team of determined U.S. Marines. How can he be beating them? Essex has shimmied up a pipe in the back of the cubicle. Every time Pittman and Antoine come looking for him, he's hiding against the roof of the bunker, surrounded on five sides by concrete. A lethal spider, safe in his web. This is more like the end of the Wild Bunch. All the police snipers with their sights trained on that roof. Men who have lost brothers and endured fire and been helpless to stop it. They all see Essex walk into Antoine's trap at the same time. Essex is shot more than 200 times. And New Orleans' long nightmare is over. But now that the danger has passed, the city wants answers. Who was Mark Essex? Why did he do this? Police discover the walls of his apartment are covered in racist graffiti. They also learn that Essex was interested in the Black Panther Party, a radical black power group. Malik Rahim is a former member of the Black Panthers. He met Essex just before his shooting spree. I met him right after he got out of jail. I believe it was a traffic ticket that really kicked everything off. And he came over to our office right afterwards to find out what could he do. Where could he go at to file some kind of complaint? And where could he go? It was nowhere. I said, basically, brother, uh, you know, welcome to New Orleans. It was the first time I ever seen that glare of, uh, of rage, you know, just straight out of uh, rage. I've seen it quite a few times since then, but the very first time that I saw it and recognized it was uh, in Mark's eyes. Race is clearly a factor. People who knew him when he was in the Navy said that Essex complained about constant racism. And the closest thing to a manifesto Essex left is a letter to a local TV station. Africa greets you. On December 31st, 1972, approximately 11 p.m., the downtown New Orleans Police Department will be attacked. Reason? Many. But the death of two innocent brothers will be avenged. What does that mean? Which brothers? We honestly don't know. Much as we like to cram the world into a logical framework, sometimes it just doesn't fit. Essex seemed to have a hatred of white people, but several of his victims were black. I mean, what reason, what inciting incident could possibly justify that killing spree? Me, I think Mark Essex was broken. I think he was furious, and I know he was very good at killing.